so what's good jewel we're gonna get this video started it's shaking today's video is going to be a little bit on the controversial side but it is something that needs to be said and needs to be talked about today we're going to be talking about none other than the infamous whole face a light skin queen with a head full of curls and a wrist full of diamonds and a neck full of pearls you are my odyssey you are my mission so if you don't know what a whole phase is it is pretty much a time period in a boy or a girl's life when they go through quite simply their whole phase a whole phase doesn't necessarily mean that you are running around having a bunch of sex with different people or whatnot you know what have you um it could just be talking to people living your best life you know finding out who you are going through your emotions and it's really your like going into relationship stage like i feel like it's important to have a whole phase before you really like settle down and find somebody that you love i want to talk about them because they're controversial and people be acting like you don't have them and that they're not normal so I wanted to give my little hot take on this. This is also going to be the first video in a new series that I'm going to be doing on my channel. Girl talk videos. So I know a lot of different YouTubers do girl talk videos and it's a way to interact with you guys. Just help you guys talk about things that you might be uncomfortable talking about your like friends or your family with. But um, you are comfortable, you know, going on YouTube and talking to other girls who have been through the same thing. I think I should close my window because... It's a lot going on. I'm also going to be doing my makeup while I um, talk to you guys. Um, I'm not going to do like a full face or anything. I'm not even going anywhere because we're supposed to be self-isolating. So pretty much I'm just going to break this video up into like segments of what I want to talk about. So I thought the best way to open the video would probably be to give you guys my personal story and experience with all phases so with me pretty much i guess you could say i already by the way i have moisturizer on and primer but so i guess my own little hot take so pretty much i had my whole phase from when i was like age 16 to 17 i didn't do it in the smartest way and in the way that i would promote and say is healthy since i didn't go through it the right way it kind of opened my eyes like later on in life to see how i should have done it so that's mostly why i want to like feel like it's an important topic to talk about because i feel like if you know about it and you know what you're about to go through it'll better prepare you for the situation because i was going through my whole phase and i didn't even know it was a whole phase so pretty much um if you've been watching my channel for a while you'll um you'll know that i went through like a pretty bad like sexual trauma uh, i'm gonna talk about like hypersexuality after trauma later on in today's video but um pretty much that's what i experienced and i had read about it um like while i was dealing with it but and i like knew that it was what i was going through but even though i was aware of it i still wasn't really able to stop it so pretty much after i went through what i went through i was trying to just like regain my sexual freedom and you know i wasn't it was partly that but it was also like me just trying to find myself and then it was also just me like fresh out of a relationship like trying new things seeing people things of that nature i was pretty much like talking to people for the most part like i'm not gonna say i was celibate out here because <laughs> i wasn't i was mostly it was mostly like talking to people like that was my phase and it was like tr like talking to people that wasn't good for me and that didn't want anything out of me except for that one thing i wouldn't say i was disrespecting myself but i wasn't valuing myself and seeing like what i truly deserved and i wasn't accepting the fact that these people probably really weren't good for me my friends would tell me like you should be like more cautious of like what you're doing and like stop stop bugging basically and this lasted for like maybe like a year and a half i'd say of me just bugging out and like just talking to dudes that like wasn't good for me and stuff um eventually i got out of it got into the relationship that i am in today and i've been in for almost three years that's just my little personal hot take on the whole phase so for me like i said i really wasn't being smart i wasn't being cautious and thinking and making good decisions um I'll get into more details probably like in a later video because I just don't want this to be completely about me. So if you are pretty much going through this type of thing and you don't think that the people that you are associating yourself with are respecting you and 
treating you how you should be treated then i would definitely get out of that situation because it's only going to backfire you in the long run because nothing is worse than like sleeping with somebody and you're like damn i shouldn't have done that or talking to somebody even and being like damn i wish i never met you type shit or like i wish i didn't get so far and deep involved um just make sure that you are being smart would be like my main advice i don't want to like give too much like i don't want this to be like an advice video i want this just to be like a talk like a heart to heart type of thing and i'm sorry if i'm like all over the place and rap it i have like i'm like really hyper right now i don't know why but around my phase too like i was talking to people who like didn't know how to keep their mouth shut and like i was just talked about a lot and like i did get that like whole reputation and i'm not ashamed of it i will talk about it that's why i'm honestly making a video about it and telling you guys my experience but um that was like it was like partly my fault but it was also partly not just because of the whole trauma thing that i experienced that also added fuel to the fire but pretty much like i feel like if i was just smarter with my moves and like more cautious um i wouldn't have been so regretful about my phase if i could redo it i would redo it i wouldn't do it again because i'm happy in a relationship that i'm in right now but if i could redo like the phase in general and like choose different people and choose different things and like just do it differently i would like nowadays it's cool to be a hoe it's cool to be a city girl it's cool to be all this and the third but i was really like bullied for that i'm glad that it's like cool but i want it to be promoted in the right way like i want it to be promoted so that young girls are making smart decisions and not just sleeping with dudes for money so all in all be a smart hoe be a safe hoe so that's gonna bring me into my next little topic of discussion though which i wanted to touch on what exactly is a hoe because Everybody seems to have their own definition, their own meaning, and what they think. I don't know. I want you guys to let me know what y'all think because I feel like the word is just stupid, but it's like I still use it as reclamation, like to reclaim like the term. I really have to concentrate when I do my eyebrows. But like I use it as like an endearment term. Like, like people call me that and it used to really hurt my feelings. And it's like now it's just like, okay, and like... What else is new like pick a different insult but anyway so like people have their own definitions especially boys like especially men niggas whatever you want to call it they all have their own definition and i feel like men's definitions usually are like way more extreme and like off the wall and not accurate but i feel like men's definitions their standards are like trash like men will say like oh if you slept with more than three people you're a hoe and i'm like have you met the average grown woman like and then some people even could say like oh it doesn't matter about the count it's more about the action but i feel like any woman that it is making her own choices and she likes those choices she's happy with them she's not being forced to make them or she's not unhappy about them then who cares I feel like a hoe shouldn't be used as a term of negativity like it is flipped around within the last couple years like you know there's like the art hoe movement the slut walk and things like that but um people still a lot of people still like don't get with that movement like everyone is like I can't believe we're like in a generation where like girls can just like call themselves this and this and the third yada 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 that's why i said it's really controversial i know not all y'all watching this will agree with me and that's okay you don't have to agree with me but other people's definitions really like vary on how they're judging the other person and that's why i'm going to let this bring me into the next part of the discussion which is what i said i was going to get into earlier which is the hypersexuality that could happen after a trauma so like after a girl is uh raped molested assaulted or it could be like any kind of trauma too i believe like it could happen after like an abusive situation and things like that that happens to a lot a lot of girls like more than you may think and it also happens happens it happens subconsciously for me it was subconsciously until i actually read about it and recognized that it was what i was going through but um pretty much um it happens so consciously and I feel like it's sad when it happens because a lot of people don't know and a lot of people will never know like so basically what I'm saying is a girl could be 
doing this and going through this and putting herself through this <laughs> i don't know why i can't talk today and like what i'm actually trying to say i'm going to formulate this correct is a girl can be doing like this whole activity and the whole behavior and people will go around just judging her and like treating her like you know like a regular hoe or whatever you want to say and they don't even know that it's as a response to a trauma and that she could not be meaning to do it or that she actually doesn't like doing it or you know things like that like people are just really too quick to judge other people's sexual lifestyles and it's sad because it's really nobody else's business but your own and people shouldn't have to be judged off of what goes on in their own bedroom sex isn't human nature like everybody has sex and if you choose not to then that's fine as well which i also feel like should be promoted with the whole whole movement like whole movement shouldn't just be promotion of sexual activities just to be doing it it should be promoting choice so we just shouldn't be so quick to judge because you never know what the next person is going through and what their reasoning is behind everything and i keep talking about girls because girls are like the main ones who get judged for this and next part of the discussion is the double standard on hoeing like guys do whatever they want like they sleep with who they want they hit on all these girls they do all this stuff and it's like it's fine we're just like oh it's dudes being dudes and we don't ever worry about like a guy's body count and whatnot and it's like girls are clocked for every fucking move they make we just can't seem to get out of girls businesses like women we have to be modest and we have to be this and that and everything and it's like the double standard is just ridiculous and then it's some people that really believe in the double standard and enforce it but i'm like I don't see the reasoning like why like we are all humans at the end of the day and self-respect is self-respect choices are choices and as long as everyone is respecting themselves making choices that are good for them staying safe and not hurting other people i feel like it shouldn't matter because dudes will be out here you know with the hit it and quit it mindset with all these different girls um just breaking hearts moving around left and right making unsafe choices not wrapping it up and everything still just falls back on a female like everything's like oh well you became a single mom you should have not had the child you should have um did this that, and the third like just everything like boys will be out here spreading stds and giving them to the females and then the female will still have the reputation of oh she's dirty she burning and this then the third like i know so many well i don't know them but i see it on social media like women that will really enforce the double standard and be cool with that we got a lot of young people on the internet these days i was young on the internet but now it's getting younger and younger and the internet is more accessible so we need to be careful what we promote i also mostly want to make this video for those of y'all who might be going through a whole phase or it's time in your life where you're just exploring your sexuality and, and finding yourself and i wanted to make it for you guys because i wanted you to feel like you are not alone and that you don't have to feel crazy or ashamed or embarrassed and if you ever wanted a platform or um a safe space to talk about these type of things with you guys can always reach out to me because i've been through it all when it comes to stuff like this that's pretty much all that i wanted to talk about in today's video thank you guys so much for tuning in um i hope that you guys enjoyed and if you like these girl talk type of videos then make sure you give this video a thumbs up once again thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you guys have an awesome day stay safe stay clean stay safe out here y'all i love you Mwah. bye